Hi, my name is Christopher Cox, and this is the story of a young man learning to become a true filmmaker. As I was graduating high school, I made the most difficult decision of my life, quitting Nerf. I knew in order to grow as a filmmaker, I needed to let go of this past image of myself and move on. So I decided to end by making my two final Nerf videos, Nerf Arena The Four Seasons and The Final 10 Things You Should Never Do in a Nerf War. These two videos were massive. I poured everything I possibly could into making these videos as great as they could be, and I was incredibly proud of them. These two videos were very successful and to me are the perfect way to end my Nerf career. And so I entered college and began to learn real filmmaking. And at first, I wasn't making a whole lot of films. In fact, I was the first person in my term to gather people together to make a video, the Juggernaut video. This video was really cool and fun, and it was awesome to work with a lot of new people and just get to know them. But I also found that I had to take things more seriously now that I was in college, and rules like using guns and doing stunts and stuff were pretty troublesome. And I found that making action videos like the Nerf videos that I was so used to wouldn't work in a more professional environment. This is where my first true short film was made, Check. It was pretty ridiculous, but it was the first time I had ever worked with outside actors, like hiring talent and working with new friends that I had made at my college. And it was a cool learning experience. And finally, I was really proud of just the look of my films and I was really happy with the finished product. Going back to YouTube, I knew I wanted to revisit Spartan Super Soldier. This had been a series that I was super proud of, but times had changed. This was years later, and a lot of the people that I had worked with before just weren't around, or everyone was really busy. Making this episode was incredibly challenging. I poured everything into making episode 8 as big as it could be, and I was very proud of it. In fact, this was probably my favorite video I had ever made, but I knew that unfortunately this would be the last time I would ever visit this series because I needed to move on. This is where my film career still tied in with Deep Sheep. We still all had the plan to move out to California together, but things were slowly changing, and we knew that we had to test out making content together. And so we band together and made as much content as we could to release a video every weekday for five weeks straight. This was a marathon run, and it was very challenging to do. This is also where our friendships grew and we were meeting each other in real life. We had a few deep sheep visits that led to really fun short films. And even though we weren't quite sure what the future held for all of us together, we knew that we just really enjoyed making videos together. Back in college, my filmmaking took a bad turn. The pressure of making films so often with so little resources led to the quality of my films dropping. And for the first time in my life, I felt I was making films I wasn't proud of, which really hurt. This coupled along with just general challenges in making films in college and just the pressures of college and growing up, I sort of was facing this crisis where I wasn't quite sure if I really enjoyed filmmaking anymore. But then came two big successes. The first, Break In, which was by far my favorite film I had ever made to that point. It had an incredibly serious tone, and I was really able to use the resources that I had to make a very professional looking film. And then the second success, Don't Look Away. Because of the Don't Look Away challenge, this short horror film that I made in my directing class went viral and currently sits at 30 million views, still gaining hundreds of thousands of views a month. This came as a complete shock to me, and I was so proud to finally be known for something other than Nerf. Shortly after that, Deep Sheep band together and we finally decided to make the thing that everyone had been waiting for, Deep Sheep Season 2. This was so challenging to make and was a massive project. This was the prime time of us coming together as a group and making this show and just enjoying awesome times creating this world and making these episodes sort of mini stories in themselves and learning new editing tricks and just growing as filmmakers. After two years, we finished it, and the final episode, Trouble in Skin Town, remains my favorite gaming video I've ever made. And if anyone ever wondered what exactly Deep Sheep was, they just have to watch the ending of that video, which actually brought me to tears, and a lot of the audience seemed to cry as well, which was the first time I'd ever made something that made people cry. Who would have thought it would have been a Minecraft gaming video to do that? And at the same time we were making Deep Sheep Season 2, another series began, shared by myself and another filmmaker I met in college, Keaton. 
We created the web series Panic, a show about a college freshman with an undiagnosed anxiety disorder. My joy for filmmaking was renewed in this series because I had a perfect collaboration with Keaton and we made this wonderful story together that grew from just a simple little comedy series to this full-fledged show with deep themes and lessons and professional quality. Across three years, we made 10 episodes and we learned so much about filmmaking and I learned a lot about myself as I dove into the mind of someone who reminded me a lot of myself. And at times the show got emotional and it felt good to tell different styles of stories and find new ways to explore storytelling in just a simple everyday life of this kid with anxiety. As I approached graduating college, I started a Kickstarter to raise funds for my senior project, Lockdown. This would have been by far the most serious film I had ever made. Unfortunately, the Kickstarter failed to raise the funds needed and the project was scrapped, leading to me taking a break from short filmmaking. Right after graduation, I was hired at a credit card processing company with Keaton as a video marketing specialist. And over the last few years, we've learned a lot of different skills in filmmaking. And it's also wonderful to be working in the field that I majored in. As time went on, I would make random series every now and then and explore different creative endeavors, but overall I really wasn't uploading much. Panic was finished by now, and we were officially beginning the process of pitching it as a TV show. I would support Keaton in his own films and spend time just kind of finding myself. After living with my dad for two years, Alex for one and Spencer for one, I was now on my own. Deep Sheep was kind of over by this point. We all had moved on and followed our own paths. We know that we do want to come together at some point to make films, but for now, it's just figuring out ourselves out. Then came a resurgence in my creativity when I revisited the Deep Sheep summer 2018 trip, the first time we all met together. We filmed so much content then that a lot of it actually never got made, and so I decided to edit some of these videos, and I made a lot of content in a short amount of time. At first, what was only being one video a week, then grew to two videos a week, and then three videos a week. I planned out weeks and months of content with all kinds of different shows and series and filming new stuff with the guys. It was just this huge rush that I felt, again, with making making content. After this huge creative period ended, Keaton encouraged me to get back to solo filmmaking and making a short film. Horror had always been my bread and butter, and with the success of Don't Look Away, I wanted to make a horror film better and scarier than that one. And thus, Sweet Dreams was born. Based on my own childhood fears, this film would take a careful and professional approach that didn't have the downsides of being a rushed, cheap, student-made production. I decided to take it fully seriously, paying for it all on my own and completely engulfing myself in every little detail of the filmmaking process. I wanted to make this the most professional Christopher Cox horror short film I could. I was able to move past the fears and anxieties that I had endured throughout college, and I made a film that I am very proud of. And I'm really excited to continue making short films, and especially horror short films, in the vein of this. So looking back on my career after Nerf, things were much more challenging. I learned a ton, not only about filmmaking, teamwork, YouTube, but also about myself and friendships, things that I neglected when I was young because I was so hyper-focused on creating videos. I'm really proud to have grown from a Nerf YouTuber to a college student to a real filmmaker with a clear vision. And that was the story of a young man learning to become a true filmmaker. Yay! The future! So that's it for this video. See you guys later. Bye.